Right, so, uh, not the video that I was planning to do today. The video I was planning was the tier list, because I finally got Winter Soldier leveled up and everything. Uh, by the way, thank my streams are happening over on Twitch. Link in the description. Um, if you want to help out, uh, anything you can do to help out is massively appreciated. Second thing, a month with a beard. This is, this is weird for me as well, seeing this is weird for me as well um but yeah uh something happened yesterday uh two trailers were dropped uh guardians volume three technically three i know a lot of people are like oh india indy five indy five is is the thing and happening i didn't grow up with indiana jones like my my knowledge of indiana jones is is not nostalgia based I've seen the movies. Uh, I've seen Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And boy howdy, that movie is not good. Um, but I've also got the, the Lego games. But I don't have nostalgia for it. So the idea of getting in Indy 5. It's like Harrison Ford should just stop. Just stop acting. He's going to be taking over from William Hurt as Thunderbolt Ross, apparently. I'm just like, No. The guy just needs to go to a retirement home and die peacefully, please. I mean, I'm not, I'm not condoning the death of a of a beloved actor, but Harrison Ford is just too old now to be a lead action hero. And I did watch that trailer. Admittedly, it looks good, but. I don't think it's going to be one that I'm going to go out to the cinema to watch. If I do, I'm watching all of the un other indie movies before to go there with a sour taste in my mouth from Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. But, yeah. Mm. The two trailers that I do want to uh, want to talk about is Guardians 3 um, and Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Talk about Transformers first because I know a lot of my audience probably doesn't care about Transformers, uh, probably doesn't want to hear me talk about Transformers, uh, judging by the the uh, the poor performance of any Transformers video that I've done in the past. But this movie looks really good. Actually, I'm glad that they've got the Bumblebee designs. I'm glad that it's more uh, G1 designed than the the over complicated Michael Bay designs those were those were bad terrible even Starscream in those movies what were they thinking you just got a triangle with arms and legs what but the designs in this movie look great the designs of Optimus Primal of Cheetor Rhinox fucking hell we're getting those characters in a movie what the guy from Hamilton's in it. At least, at least we've got a, a likable lead character. At least we're going in and we know this guy. This guy's already likable. Anthony Ramos, he's already likable, you know. And uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think this is going to be a good one as long as they focus on the Transformers. And because it looks like it's going to be part origin story of a new human character, and hopefully the new human character is actually Spike Wick Spike Wit Witty Wit Wit Wiki, and not uh, Sam Wit Wiki. Hopefully it's Spike or one of the others, um, and they eventually give him superpowers. The Transformers comics are weird, man. They are weird. But I I hope that they actually go with the G1... The, the G1 human characters and not change the names of them for no real reason. Um, but yeah, the, the beasts look great. Uh, we don't have a look at uh, Megatron in this. Uh, Dino Megatron, but I really want to. I want to see what he looks like. Come on, man. But yeah, Optimus Primal looks great. Optimus Primal looks 
bellissimo. And Peter Cullen hearing that voice, oh, 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 so good, so good. Um, yeah, there's not much more I can say. It looks like half of it's going to be introducing new, new human character, and the other half is going to be the war of the Autobots and um, Maximals versus the Decepticons and Predacons, which you know movies are m movies have to be bigger and better than the last so yeah i'm fine with that you know bumblebee was a smaller movie and it it did relatively well and i'm hoping that this even as a like bigger scale transformers thing this is the kind of stuff that i love from the transformers and i hope that it i hope that it's better than any of the Bay movies, and I hope that it's on par, if not better, than Bumblebee. I want that tone to stay in, and I want John Cena. I want John Cena to be in this. Come on, he's just a he's just an army guy in Bumblebee, so he can really show up anywhere. If if you manage to get the the guy that was in half of the um, half of the Bay former movies, then then sure you can get. Um, you can get John Cena to show up in two, and it will it will bridge the gap because obviously Haley Steinfeld's not going to be not going to be in this. Uh, as as unfortunate as that's going to uh, unfortunate as that is, she's in the MCU now. You can ogle at her as as much as you as much as you want. Uh, we then have the uh, the Guardians three. Or Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three uh, trailer, and it it's interesting that along with Iron Man, this is the only trilogy that doesn't that is named one, two, and three, not Thor, Thor one, Thor the Dark World, Thor Ragnarok, Thor Love and Thunder. You know, this is the only one that's like one, two, three, and it is like a it's confirmed that this is the last Guardians movie. At least that we're getting with these characters directed by James Gunn. We might get another one that's like a, a, a spin-off or tie-in. Or we might get like a special on on Disney+. Plus. And those Disney Plus specials have been brilliant. The holiday special was great. Kevin Bacon in the MCU as Kevin Bacon. Great. Do more of that, please. Um, I would... saying that does if if kevin bacon exists in the marvel cinematic universe does that mean that the actors that play the characters exist in that universe as well so you can get star lord to meet chris pratt that, that would be that would be a weird like black mirror they, that could be a special, really. I mean, it's a shit idea, but it could be a special. It's the kind of thing that they would do in, like, She-Hulk. It's the kind of thing that would be, like, a She-Hulk episode, wouldn't it? There you go. She-Hulk writer season two. I've just given you... I've just given you an episode. The characters meet their actors. Uh, <laughs> or... Or, in the multiverse movie, Secret Wars, Sebastian Shaw shows up and Star-Lord refuses to fight Sebastian Shaw because he looks like Kevin Bacon. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. But yeah, this trailer, I just say, the guy playing, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, the guy playing um, Adam Warlock, he was the guy in We're the Millers, and he was like a scrawny, fucking nerdy ginger, scrawny skinny guy in that movie. And he was in the he was in the sandwich getting getting snogged by Jennifer Aniston and Emma Roberts, which is which is a sandwich everyone wants to be in. Let's be honest. Um, but now he's like a buff, 
action hero going to be playing the embodiment of Jesus in the Marvel Universe. That That's a that's a glow up. That's a glow up. And the thing that's apparent in this trailer is that it's it's very somber, especially for a Guardians trailer. Because, like, the first one, you have, like, the winding up middle finger and you have a lot of jokes. But I feel like... If this is going to set the tone for the movie, this is this is a goodbye, and this is a goodbye specifically to Rocket, <coughs> because I don't know what I uh, the 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 thing that I got from this movie and the thing, uh, one takeaway that I have from this movie uh, from the trailer is that this is going to be the movie that kills Rocket, and. If this is the movie that kills Rocket, I don't, I don't know. I, there will be tears. There will be many tears shed in this one because I didn't expect the trailer for Guardians Three to be. This is going to be the emotional roller coaster of, of Phase Five. So the second movie in Phase Five. This is going to be the emotional roller coaster of Phase Five. We don't have an actual villain, unless if the actual villain is Adam Warlock. Um, We've got one of those weird um, purple octopus things on a on a bridge. Um, But a lot of a lot of this trailer is is Rocket saying we're go we're going into the unknown. I'm done running one final flight into the sunset and a lot of things that suggest Rocket's not making it to the end of the movie. And that's sad because he is one of my favourite characters. And it's weird that the the trailer is very much like, get ready to ball out at the scene where Rocket dies. But... You know, that's a big spoiler to put in the in the movie or in the trailer. So what I'm thinking is that it's a bait and switch. The the obvious thing and what this trailer obviously points towards is that Rocket's going to die. So what I'm thinking is that's a bait and switch. They're doing all of this stuff that they're saying that Rocket's going to die. However, I feel like Star-Lord might not make it to the end of this movie. Or someone else that isn't Rocket. Or they all die at the end. You know, if this really is going to be the last Guardians movie, you, you do something really drastic like you kill off the main character. Or you kill off all of the characters. You know what's weird is that in the Christmas special, in the holiday special, Cosmo the uh, Cosmo is in there. I was about to say Cosmo the Super Dog, but that's Crypto. Cosmo's in it. The Russian telepathic, telekinetic uh, Labrador is in it. Nowhere to be seen in the Volume 3 trailer. Is it because a telekinetic Russian dog isn't doesn't fit the tone of Guardians Volume Three, which is going for a more serious tone? Like the first few seconds are they land on a planet, there's Drax throws a rock at someone, and then they all start throwing rocks at the Guardians. That's a joke, but that's the only joke in the trailer. Everything else is just showing off. Badass action sequences and hey, look at Rocket. He's saying a load of things to suggest that he's going to die. And the I did I did feel feels I did feel emotions at the end of this. Uh, and yeah, these are characters that we've learnt to love throughout the MCU and. It is 
very somber and it does feel like this is this is the end of the of the book for the guardians it feels like this is very much the last hurrah which is exactly what uh, what um james gunn wants because he's like i'm closing out the guardians i'm making one hell of a movie i'm gonna be like this is my magnum opus and then we move uh, and then we move on to the dc universe and i will i will be as james gunn as i possibly can with that universe because apparently everything's going to be connected like games animated series tv shows and the movies they're all connected in james gunn's dc universe um the only way you can work that is multiverse uh or like uh, this thing happens at this point this thing happens at this point you know do like a star wars route where there's so many there's so many years in between a thing so like the where you do like prequels and the sequels and whatever but then that ends up getting very confusing as well so if everything's connected you have to do a multiverse thing i know it's a cop out but you have to do that's what you have to do and then you do your big i think the best way to do a big multiverse spanning thing is a video game because you have the all of the time to do it. Uh, so there, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Guardians Three, and I will be bringing tissues to this one, and I expect to walk out of this movie having having the same emotions as walking out of No Way Home, as walking out of Wakanda Forever, as walking out of Endgame. I I want that feeling for Guardians 3 because it's the last one and if any movie should make me feel like a blubbery mess it's it's the last one of you know characters that I was I was introduced to through the MCU that found fame from the MCU and that now are are going away I don't know if if they are going away or if they're going into different things, but this is the last Guardians movie, and that is that is sad. Or is the last Guardians movie that's going to feel like a James Gunn Guardians movie, and that is that is sad, and it is more sad that they are just flat out saying this movie is going to kill one of your favorite characters that is it it's painted in a way that is very uh very depressing and it's very different from other trailers even ant-man 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 quantumania is a serious trailer but it's not it doesn't it's not depressing in the same way that the Guardians 3 trailer is the Ant-Man 3 trailer is serious in the this is going to paint the picture of what the net of what the next few years of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going to be it's serious in the we're bringing in our next main villain in this one you know, and the, the heroes are in a in a situation they don't understand, and it's just going to be a more serious tone than the last two movies, which were comedies. And this one is just bring tissues. This one is just bring tissues, and I kind of I kind of love it. I don't know if I like the trailer because at the end I wanted to cry because I was like, "Don't take my baby boy rocket from me," but also. I, I think that this movie is going to be something very special. And I know that we can't really say that about... Uh, apparently there's something bad about saying that you're looking forward to Marvel movies now. And that after Phase 4, Marvel's dead in the water. I think that the Ant-Man Quantumania trailer and this trailer... And Wakanda Forever as a movie kind of show 
that that's not the case at all. They can still make very good movies. We had some rocky ones in there, but we had some rocky ones in Phase 1. We had some rocky ones in Phase 2. Heck, the second Avengers movie is considered by a lot of people as meh. Me included. I just think that movie is meh. But we're now going into Phase 5. And Phase 5 is, you know, the the even-numbered phases are usually meh. And the odd-numbered phases are usually great. So we're going into a new one that's great. No, Ant-Man looks like it's going to be a great movie. Guardians 3 looks like it's going to be a great movie. And then, you know, we've got Fantastic Four, Blade, you know, two Avengers movies coming up. Um, we've got uh, Spider-Man 4, wherever that's going to be. Um, I don't think that there's any slowing down for the MCU. And I, I genuinely think that the Phase 4, the reason why people are so iffy about Phase 4 is because of because of the tone being stagnant and because they're not really being a story to tell. There is a story to tell now. They're not telling it in the best way and introducing the next big villain in a show wasn't the best move, I don't think. And then having him be a main character in, um, in Quantumania, I don't know if that is the best idea either. Because... I know people like show don't tell, but the reason why Thanos was so scary is because we'd seen so little of him. Is seeing so much of Kang going to be too much of a good thing? And are we going to get to the point where in the Kang dynasty, he's not scary because we've seen, we've seen so much of him and we've seen him be not very threatening in um, in the Loki show, we've seen him be, you know, threatening a badass in Ant-Man Quantumania. What more is there to show? Whereas with with Thanos, he was still a mystery. In And seeing him in all his glory in Infinity War felt like, holy shit. But when we get to Kang Dynasty, we'll have already seen... We'll have already seen Kang. We've already seen what he can do, what he's about, and everything. So, how can you, how can you, really get that same response if you keep showing him and everything? Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Indy Five, what you think of Transformers: Rise of the Beasts, and what you think of Guardians Three, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Are you as as uh, were you about to tear up at the end of the Guardians 3 trailer, uh, seeing that they may possibly kill off one of our favourite characters? And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Base. Like I said, uh, Thankmas is still going on. It's going on till the 23rd. Get your butts over to Twitch. See you guys in the next video. Peace.